TV Channel Ukraine presents The Best Husband, Episode 6 Pardon the intrusion. Do you want to eat tea, coffee? Tea, please. Thank you. May I have a seat? Yes, sure, sure, Mila. He's so big. And his hair became lighter. He's beautiful. Does he get sick? It could go either way. I understand you're uncomfortable with me being here. But I have nowhere else to go. It's true, Glove offered me. But if you tell me, I'll go. There's a room upstairs, you can sleep there. Thank you, Nina, I guess. Right, Nina. If you want to take a shower, the bathroom is there. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Really. What he did to her is terrible. I can't believe a man can abuse a woman like that. You can't call him a man. I'm glad I have you. And I wanted to kick her out. I even prepared the speech. But then I saw her and took pity on her. Because you're a great person. Thank you. 
Come on. Come on, come on. Step, step. Wow, you almost did it, Gleb. Look at him. Come on. Come on, one more step. Step, come on. Cool. Great job. Come to me. You're a man. He's great. Gleb, what about Ilyasha's documents? When I saw her beat up, I forgot why I was here. How long will she stay with us? One, two days. No more. She was going somewhere. Good morning. Sorry, I overheard you talking about the documents. As soon as I get a chance, I'm gonna go home, get a certificate, and we can register the baby. That's great, Mila. Why did you wait so long out of spite? Glad you wouldn't say so if you knew my situation. My husband controlled me completely in everything. My messages, my calls. I was scared to say too much because he was putting his hands on me. Why did you tolerate that? Because I loved him. A woman always hopes to the last. Take him. Nina, you might not understand it because your glove is completely different. You're lucky to have him. And he's lucky to have two. Eat Miller. Have the police called yet? Did you give them your number? Sure. I don't hope for them. Grish is always on the road. It's very hard to catch him. Yes. Did you throw her out? I didn't. I knew it. I should have come. But why, for God's sake, Nina? Why? Not now. Is she around? Yeah. What about him? We're having breakfast. That's how it starts. And then you'll find them in the same bed. I can't talk right now. Listen to me for once. I know what I'm talking about. Ira, you'll make a hole in the table. It's nothing. This table will stand for a hundred years. Unlike me. Is it your daughter again? She's an adult. She's already married. You understand nothing. Good morning. Hello? You're the one I need. Unexpectedly, but pleasantly. Do not rejoice before time. Sainia. We are. We are out of tea. Would you go to the store, please? I was going to do that during my lunch break. Zainia, please, do it now. All right. Do you know what your son did? No, but I guess you tell me now. He brought his mistress to the house. Sorry. Mila. She now lived there. How do you like it? And my poor daughter tolerates it because she loves him very much. Do something about it. Talk to him. I don't believe he would do that. So I'm lying. No, no, listen, I didn't say that. 
but I think we have to figure it out. But it's still a fact. If you won't talk to him, then I'll do it. And why did you come? I told you not to come. Here. Yeah. Two tickets to Verti. You love him. Who? Verti. How do you know? I saw a lot of discs at your birthday party. I can't go. Ilya Sarjevich. I'm home. Miller. Milko. Are you still upset, Vero? Where are you? My husband's calling. Give me the phone. Gleb, maybe they'll figure it out themselves. Yes, Gleb, Nina's right. Okay, let the police deal with him. I don't want to see or hear him. Have you seen my Miller? I see everything, Grigory Pavlovich. That's my job. She left yesterday at about 6 p.m. Six. She put the hood over her head, slipped past me and didn't even say a word. She had a guy with her. What guy? Young and handsome. He hold her hand and drove her away. By what car? Black passenger car. Thank you. Thank you. I'm always at your service. I tried to come back earlier. I'll go. Bye. I was wondering if there are any buses going into the city. I have to see a doctor. Today? You didn't tell me. I did. You probably forgot. You can call a taxi. I'd like to, but I don't have money. I ran out of house and... Okay, I'll give you a ride. Let's go. Gleb, can we stop by the pawn shop? I'd pawn my ring. Okay. Here, let's go. Thank you. I really liked your place. The house is beautiful, the forest. I want Nina and my son to have the best things. Yes, Gleb, you're great. And I'm stupid. All this could have been ours. It happened the way it did. And it's only my fault. Come on. Gleb. Thank you very much. I'm just thoughtful, so don't look for something that's not there. Come on. 
I remember how much you loved me. You were crazy. And all I remember is that you didn't love me. That's not true. I really loved you. That was why you didn't tell me you were married. You never came and called me when I was in the hospital. I was waiting for you at first. Glab, I am sorry. You gave up my son as if he was an unnecessary thing. Glab, my husband made me. I couldn't do anything, but there's nothing between us. That's true. I am married now and the subject is now closed. You married her to forgive me. She can be all the good and kind. Enough. But they love not for that. Enough, I said. We made a lot of mistakes. Let's correct them. You have to go, Mila. Please wait for me. Yes. Is Mila living with you now? How do you know? Irina Ivanovna told me, Dad, it's not like my mother-in-law told you. There are circumstances. Do you realize this is going to destroy your family? Dad, do you believe me? As long as your wife believes you. You can't trust men at all. You have to check them. Should I spy on him? Not spy but control the situation. Trust but verify. I check my husband's phone regularly. Calls, messages, emails, you do that too. But that's not right. You're too honest. So keep on worrying and not sleeping at night. Where are we going? To the hotel. The doctor said it'll all be gone in a week. Great. Hello, we need a room. Good afternoon, did you book? No. You need a room with one or two beds. With one. I'll see what I can do. It's nice here. Okay. Why are you standing there? Hug me. Lab, you're so tender, not like Grisha. Mila, you seem to have misunderstood me. I rented this room just for you. What do you mean? You're not coming back to my house again. Glab, wait. Are you leaving me here alone? I paid for this room for seven days in advance. Glab, come on, please, Glab, Glab. That's all I can do for you. Don't leave me, please, Glab. Here, these. I don't know. My wife said something about knitting. That's right. Okay. Just please, be careful and return them in time, okay? It's insulting, Orina Ivanovna. I'll go to the store and then I'll check on Sojevich. 
Ilya Sarshevich? Right. What happened? It's his heart. They even called an ambulance. He's resting home now. When did it happen? Today. Do you want me to say hello to him from you? No. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. Today was a big day. Clients, contracts. And where's Mila? I took her to the hotel. Hotel? Yes, I've seen how hard you can bear her presence. And your mom made a huge scandal for my dad. And I thought, why do we need all that tension? Will you feed your husband? Yes, sure. I'll warm it up. Thanks. I'll go to the shower. Okay. Thank you for everything you did for me. I will be waiting for you forever, Mila. Hello. Hello, Orina Ivanovna. How did you find me? Ilya Sarshevich, you're registered in my library? Right. I just didn't expect to see you. I heard you were ill. A little. So may I come in? Or maybe you're not alone? Sure, come in. Thank you. This is for you. Yeah. Let me take your jacket. Right. May I come in? Of course. What were you doing at the hotel? What kind of question is that? I will be waiting for you forever. You went through my phone. I did. Great. It showed up on the phone. And you read it, Nina. Do you realize this is totally out of line? Why did you delete it? You didn't want me to know about you. I don't want to keep some rubbish on my phone. And there's no us. I didn't expect you to act this way. I've lost my appetite. How are you feeling? You look pale. It's nothing. So the ambulance came. Were you worried about me? As about any other, my reader. And you visit every one of them. Admit that you care about me. Don't say nonsense. Ilya Sarjevich. I feel guilty for yelling at you, letting my emotions run wild. Sorry, I'm just really worried about my daughter. I know. I think Gleb has taken care of it. Yes, thank God. It's clean enough here for a single man. 
I'm used to order since the army. I'll make you some tea. Yes. Or no, can I have coffee if you have one? Coffee and cigarettes. You should stop it. You should protect your vessels. You're such a bus gal. A woman came to visit you, and you're talking about her vessels. Right. Coffee. Okay. If you want, I can cook you something. No, thank you. It's enough that you have come. Have you tried Irish coffee? No. Brown sugar coffee and a little whiskey. Though I'm out of cream, I think it will be delicious that way too. And then you can have a sip of cold water. Thank you. It's tasty. And whiskey makes me a little dizzy. Are you trying to seduce me? Yes, Irina. Here are the tickets to Verdi. You glued them? No. I have no glue, so I bought new ones. What do you think about it? I think I would love to go to Verti with you. If there are children, I just came to see you. You just came to see me or not? Go, or else they will think God knows what. Like what? Just go. Vera, hi. Milaka, baby, how are you? Thank God you called. I didn't know what to think. Your phone was off. I'm okay. I turned it off so Grisha wouldn't find me. Vera, listen to me carefully. I need you to go to my apartment, take some money and clothes and bring them to me. I'll text you a safe code and address. I have nothing here. Mila, I'm so sorry, but I can't do it. What if Grigory Pavlovich find me there? He would say I'm a thief and kill me. I'm so afraid of him. Don't even ask. A coward cow. Hello. How are you, darling? Wait. I'll feed you. I brought you some cutlets and your favorite pilaf. I thought you'd never come. You were supposed to come at 4 p.m. How could I not come to you, my dear Ilya Sarjevic? I'm a little late. Oh, a spot. I just washed it. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is Fetlana. She doesn't let me starve. And this is Irina Ivanovna. My, uh... My in-law. Oh, the relative. And I thought Ilya Sarjevic has an affair. You know how many avaricious women there are. He has his own apartment, a good pension, and he's a strong, handsome man. Svetlana. I'm so sorry you. Please take it and go home. Thank you very much. How can I go? I have a train tomorrow morning. I'll stay here tonight like the last time. I'll go. That's not what you think. I don't want to encroach on good pension and handsome man. 
Ira, listen, Ira, don't ruin it. Last time Svetlana washed my windows and twisted her ankle. So she stayed overnight. And you treated her a night. What about Overti? Eat your pilaf with the cutlets. And please don't put stains anymore. Don't be so cheap. Granny, I have to pay for my studying. What do you call studying? Showing off. Actor, you better go to the law or computer school. You're not smart enough to do it. That's it, Elaine Delon. Who? Ignoramus. What do they teach you in a theater school? Kiss me and go. See you. Bye. Milaka. Have you seen this people's artist? He pulls money from me, give me, give me. But all to no avail. Well, who knows? Is my husband home? I can't see his car. Grigory Pavlovich left in the morning. Thank you. Are you sure he left? Did you see? Why do I need my eye? I'm sure. Grigory Pavlovich. Where are you going? So you're home. That old bitch lied to me. Grisha. Right. You had enough. Sorry, I was drunk. But you're guilty. Never contradict me. I don't care. I'm leaving you. Don't be a fool, Milka. I said I'm sorry. Here, take it. Do you like it? You love it, right? You do. Keep it. I'm filing for divorce. What divorce? I'll show you the divorce. Grisha, please, let me go. Your mind, you think I know nothing. I saw you leaving with a man. Who's he? How long have you been cheating on me? I didn't cheat on you, Grisha. Do you think I'm stupid? I'm asking you. What's his name? Grisha, it hurts. Name? Tell me the name. There's nothing between us. I can't hear you, name. Glad. Surname? Chernikov. Okay. Now listen, I'll take your phone and your keys. It's 11th floor, you won't go anywhere. You'll be cooking now instead of very... Bitch. It's great here. Pine trees, fresh air. You'll like it here. Have you seen the river? Nina, here you all. Hi, Gleb. Gleb, meet. Hi. Hi, Grisha. Your potential future neighbor. Nice to meet you, Gleb. Gleb, did you know the house next door was for sale? Really? I've never heard it. It was recently put up for sale, and I want to know about every rock that's there, water supply, power outages. And meet the neighbors. Well, that's smart, Nina. Bring me some tea, please. Okay, will you watch him? Yeah, have a seat. We don't have problems with water. But there are power outages sometimes, so it's better to get a generator. What else are you interested in? I'll try to help you. You've already helped me. What do you mean? 
How long have you been sleeping with my wife? Her name's Miller. So you're the husband? How long have you been fucking her? A year? Two? Did you give her that baby? Now, you want to dump him on me? Get out of my house. Grisha always pays the bills. Elsa. Elsa, what did he do to you? I told you, you shouldn't have come with me. What do you mean? If it wasn't for Elsa, who knows what would happen? Yeah. You shouldn't have let a stranger into your house. As it turns out, he's not such a stranger, he's Mila's husband. I'm not sleeping with her, if that's what you want to know. The surgery was successful, but she lost a lot of blood. She's still weak. Let her stay here for a few days. And then you'll take her safe and sound. Okay, we'll leave her here and pay you as much as you say. I want her to have all the best. Because she's part of our family. We'll do our best. I have a job to do. See you. Thank you. Thank you. We need to file a report on Grisha. Let the police deal with him. Right. When will you do it? Today. You need to make it quick. I wish you won't let me down. You're insulting us. Good boy, it's good boy. Shit. I have to call the fire department. Hello? Hello, fire department? It's Chernikov. It's security. Your warehouse is on fire. What? What do you mean? Give me the hose.
Maybe the shirt circuit, the building is old, the wiring is bad, and I think it's an arson. No, who needs our sweatshirts? Two more warehouses burned down nearby. Maybe we were accidentally set on fire. Maybe, thank you. Gloves here, and Nina's with him. Hi. 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 It's terrible, isn't it? The materials for our next order have burnt down, as well as all finished products for the last month. So to say that we have a problem is to say nothing. I told logistics to send the goods, but they wanted to do it later in the week. We wanted to save money. I didn't know. You better find a decent warehouse. It was a normal one. That's not what this is about. We have to figure out how to handle it. But him tried to explain everything to the clients and delay the deadline. I'll do my best. Someone will understand our situation, but someone will refuse. They can't even impose a fine. I'll take care of the most troubled customers. But we need to sew and ship faster. If we work overtime and without days off, in six months I think we'll get to the bottom of it. Thank you. Get to work. Lab. We could sell the house to close the loan. Nina. It's out of the question. We can do this. Good afternoon. Glab's not here. I know. He called me and asked me to move here for a while. He's worried about his child's and Nina's safety. Nina also asked me to stay here, so don't bother yourself, especially since there's only one guest room in the house. It's okay. I'll sleep on the mat in the hallway. I think the danger is exaggerated. Are you serious, knife attack? When? Nina didn't tell me anything. She should have. And how are you going to protect us? Irina Ivanovna, take a deep breath. This is a registered award weapon. Only for self-defense. Come in. Enemies, business rivals, debts, what can you say? I have no debts, rivals. We don't have that level of sales to get to it. Okay. Personal conflicts? There was one, a couple of days ago with Zaritsky. What conflict? He came to my house and threatened me. He got into a fight, scared my wife. I wrote everything in the statement. By the way, that Saritsky is your client. He was in jail, I don't know on what charges. But please check him. We'll do it. 